I am continuing my reading. What I'm doing in this series is to read through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order of events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a bit as I move along. We are now on Isaiah chapter 20. I'm not sure this might be a continuation of the previous chapter, chapter 19, but it might be its own prophecy. We'll see. So let us read. In the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod, when Sargon the king of Assyria sent him, and fought against Ashdod, and took it, at the same time spake the Lord by Isaiah the son of Amoz, saying, Go, and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins, and put off thy shoe from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. And the Lord said, Like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot three years for a sign and wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia, so shall the king of Assyria lead away the Egyptians prisoners and the Ethiopians captives, young and old, naked and barefoot, even with their buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt. And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia, their expectation, and of Egypt their glory. And the inhabitants of this isle shall say in that day, Behold, such is our expectation, whither we flee for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria, and how shall we escape? Okay, first of all, he's not naked. He's not completely naked. He, um, it's uh, in the footnotes here, without an upper garment. So you still have the loins covered, but you're, you're barefoot and you have nothing on the upper body as, as signifying slave or exile. Now, in verse 5, it says, And they shall be afraid and ashamed of Ethiopia. This isn't talking about the Egyptians, apparently. I mean, it's a little confusing there. In the footnotes, though, it says this is talking about Judah, that Assyria will go and destroy Egypt and Ethiopia, causing Judah to be afraid because they will have no place to go for deliverance from Assyria. They will seek to Assyria, uh, they will seek to Egypt to deliver them from Assyria, but Assyria will destroy Egypt and Judah will then be dismayed and say, well, who, who can we turn to now? So it's interesting. Now, the last note here before I continue says, in the year that Tartan came unto Ashdod. Now this says it's about 711 B.C. Tartan was the cap captain of the army of Assyria. He sent by the king Sargon. Ashdod was one of the cities of the Philistines. So in the year that Assyria conquered the Philistines, this is, this is being stated. This is, when, this is the time of this prophecy. Now it says it's about 711 B.C., which I believe is after the northern kingdom is taken captive. Well, I, I think they were taken captive in, in 722, and so 711 would be after that, which would mean this is about halfway through Hezekiah's reign as king. Anyways, oh well, I was going to continue reading, but apparently that's the end of the chapter. So yeah, I, I think this is its own standalone uh, chapter, his own standalone prophecy saying, Judah, don't look to Egypt because Egypt is going to be destroyed. And th this is one of those, I, I do want to mention this again, one of those performative prophecies where the prophet is told to do a performance of some kind to symbolize the prophecy that is being stated. So like Elisha, when he told uh, Amaziah, I believe, or Azariah, one of those guys, he told him to take the bow and shoot it out there, and then he tells him to hit the ground. This is performative, saying, okay, this is a symbol of what's going to happen. We'll see this with other prophets as well, but this is I, Isaiah is being told to go to where? To go topless and without shoes, for three years as a sign that Assyria would be destroying Egypt, that Egypt would be destroyed by Assyria. It's an inter It's These kind of performative prophecies I always find very interesting. But, since that is the end of the chapter, we will end it there.